Hello everybody. We're in search <laughs> of the village of Worm Layton. And we think after many, many days of trekking with my hardy ordnance survey map that we might just have found it in the distance. There in the distance is indeed a little bit of the village of Wormleighton. As you can see, not a lot to see. And over here you can see in the distance the church which we might well go and explore a bit later after we've had a walk around the countryside. Now look at this beautiful countryside just around Worm Layton. All the cottages. Stunning. And there is the back of the church. And there is Chedland. Looking for Wormleyton that we have just discovered and found. Hello everyone. Hello everybody. We've been walking for miles. Hours and hours. To it's... come upon this beautiful village of Wormleyton. We're going to show it to you, having discovered it from an ancient countryfied angle. This village has lain untouched and unspoiled for hundreds of years. And you... now it's about to be given its rebirth by being rediscovered by Jed and Daisy. In front of you you can see a beautiful little cottage. April 2013. Patched cottages to the right and soon you will see in the distance a beautiful old church dating back to the 12th century and even some of the stonework that you see is the original. 14th century stonework. We're about to visit it. And we'll tell you all about it once we've been inside. Aha! What do I spy? But a little plaque saying the old post office. Now that probably was where the post office was many years ago. And this is the most beautiful garden en route. You can see maybe the squirrel has disappeared. There are birdies and all sorts. I can't zoom in. I won't be able to show you. But it is splendid, isn't it? There we are. You can see it. It's a typical little cottage in Wormleyton. And here we go round the front. And we can see all this amazing thatch of the roof. And you don't see this very much anymore. Look how absolutely beautiful it is. And onward we go to the church, which is just opposite. And here it is. So we're about to enter it. Here we are. Approaching Wormleyton Church. Let's go over the gate. There we are. Say bye bye to the post office and the beautiful thatched house we've just seen. The jet lad is. There we are. There we are. Very pretty, indeed.
asking me, are you? I'm actually going to ask you your name because this is this is. I'll take my berry off. No, no. This this lady is the um, the lady who does all the flowers and looks after this beautiful church, and her name is Sheila Cleggan. Sheila Cleggan. So we've come to ask lots of questions about Worm Layton, and Ian has been looking at a very interesting book, which will give us a little bit of research on it, that she has recommended. We might buy it. And we're going to now have a little look around this amazing church that's very old, which dates back to 14th century, with these arches and stained glass windows. This is a magnificent stained glass window, if I can get it in perspective because the light's shining through now. It's a rather nice day here. Yes, I think we can see that. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we've got one to the right as the light streams through. And Sheila has very kindly opened the door to be able to go in to the very back where the priest sermon where the altar is and look it's a very small church you can see here you would have just a few people in it and the stained glass windows at the top and then with a priest would stand here Now we've left Sheila of the parish church and we're walking away from the church and up the hill and we can see in the distance the manor, old gatehouse really isn't it, manor house part of it, Worm -Layton of Wormlayton Manor and Spencer families who now own this whole property and area but it's splendiferous. Daisy comes from a minor branch of that family that got cast out, presumably. We're waiting to find out the details of all of that. I don't think so, Jared. And further up the hill, we actually come to... The gatehouse. The gatehouse, as it is. And there it is in its glory. Is the gatehouse part of the manor house? Yeah. Uh -huh. Jed's photographing. A little bit of David Bailey. Jed and I have a dispute about this. It could be 16th century. Maybe 17th century early 17th century and I'll show you Jed right says because he is the connoisseur of historical buildings hello Jed thank you for reading that he wants to show us something so off we go video camera in hand back to this old gatehouse and I think he spotted a date of its origins when it was built. Look at the shields on the front. It says 1630 or 1614, And he's saying that they read 1613 and 1614. And, 1614, and I think he's right. So clever he's a jet. Clever <laughs> so he is a clever little boy. All right, Jed. We know. And as we head out onto the road, in the distance we can see a car now, this would never have been many hundreds of thousands of years ago, carrying the horse cart behind you. And it seems to denote its real farmer country with sheep and cows and horses. And here we are.
coming into Worm Layton Hall. There it is in all its splendiferous glory from the roadside as we look and we see another car carrying a horse's cart. Over yonder, a man mowing the lawn right by a little post box, Worm Layton pillar box. Better get over quickly. I don't want to be shut down by a big fat lorry. We have there we are. The pillar box that's been here for years and years and years. And there's Jed in the distance. Hello Jed. The horses look very, very cold and they're neighing away. I think it's about to pour with rain. Really, it is. Jed's walking extremely quickly down the lane. Here they are. They've been covered over the horses and probably blowing a gale. No horsey. This is Nicola's amazing farm which she has where she lives with her two children and two boys and this is her house it was all part of at one time the Worm Layton estate but um, this is it here we are and you will in a minute see Nobby done this most magnificent walk. We've come right through all the farmers fields to Lino's restaurant that we're going to see in a minute. And here ahead, if I can just get the signpost that says Worm Layton, two and a half miles. There we are. And that one says Priors Marsden. And look at this farming land. And Jed Lad has brought us back to where we left the car last night because we had a wonderful dinner. Butcher's Arms. And here we are. Jed has done a fantastic job. We are picking up Nobby. Well done, Jed. We've walked. Yes. We hope he's going to start. He will do. Because his, she has done a... because his bonnet was open all night. Oh no. Here's the sign saying Worm Layton and Beddington and Worm Fenny Layton Compton. Worm is spelt wrong on that road sign. Worm Layton. There's Worm a gap. Yeah. That's wrong that is. 